All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Drawing Duty Live with me, your host with the most. Sam the Crazy Man Vera, aka the Crazy Man, host of Catch the Crazy Podcast, and also in the comic book creator. Today, I'm just gonna have fun and draw duty at a fueling station, and it's gonna tie into the cake's daughter. Well, you know, he's like, What do you mean by that, Sam? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Let's get this show started. Hi, I'm Vera. Wait, hold on, I'm Vera. Well, we're both Veras. Anyway, welcome to Drawing Duty where I take my favorite character, Duderis Uranius, from There's an Alien in My Toilet, and I put him in all sorts of costumes, from your most iconic characters to just a pirate, or even uh, Thundercats, or a bandit. Well, every day, I take duty, and I have fun. And I'm glad that you're here to have fun with me. If you have time, please check out dutiesworld.com. And if you like this episode and every episode before it, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much, and let's start drawing. What's up, everybody? Okay, so I just remind everybody that the landing page is active. I just put it in the summary in the chat. The landing page is active for issue number three, Aichi, while we're on Kickstarter launching September 20th. And if you sign up today to uh, to the landing page, here's what you get. So if you sign up, you just gotta, you got to tag me or send me a, a DM and say, hey, Sam, I signed up. And send me an email, and I'll send you a digital print of Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu. Now, if you sign up, and then you back it physically when we launch in September, you will also get that same print as a hard copy in your reward packet for free. It's a 7 by 10 nice high-gloss, good cardstock um, image of Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu. All for just signing up as, and is my way of encouraging you to do so. The goal is to get to 100 people to sign up or more before we launch. Um, you know, hashtag let's make history and let's make history together and let's show the world that duty is going to take over the planet. All right, Aurelia signed up. What's up? All right. So I'll be sending you your digital copy today. Um, Dan Price also signed up. Thank you, Dan. Um uh, yes, that's the biggest thing is to let me know that you signed up because if I don't know, I can't send you your digital print. So I'll be sending that over. Now, what does Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu have to do with anything? I'll tell you. Although there's part three of this Nail in My Toilet, which is I Chihuahua, where Duty finally gets into the house and he meets Herman the Chihuahua who thinks Duty's a talking jalapeno. Um, and there's a variant cover for part three, which is Here's Duty. Um, it's a take on The Shining with Jack Nicholson, which is also available on the campaign. But there's also another story that's available as a stretch goal to unlock, to add to your cart. So there's an add-on. You'll be able to buy it once we unlock it. So I've been working hard. I just finished page 15. Um, I should have, it's a 24 page full gloss comic book. And here's the, the story. Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu. Is where duty goes to the outer rim to find out what's going on with some um, members of his planet that disappeared. And I think he bit off more than he could chew because now he's going to need some help to deal with uh, Cthulhu and his army. So it's a full story, 24 pages, full color. Um, I'm drawing, penciling, inking, coloring, lettering. Everything's done by me 100%. It is fun. You'll get to meet Cheeks. Another character in the series is Duty's buddy, Cheeks. You'll get to meet Dee Dee, Dolly, and Daisy, the three girls in Duty's life. Um, they're not his girlfriends. One of them's his girlfriend. Well, she loves him, but, you know, Duty, you know, Duty's about Duty. But uh, so uh, you'll meet the girls in the series as well as some amazing characters. And this will be able to be unlocked. And this is a three cover spread. So you can get either the center, which is King Cthulhu on the throne. Or you can collect all three. So you have two options when we unlock it as add-ons. So that's going to be so much fun. Um, and I can't wait to launch that. So, And just a few other things. Um, don't forget dutiesworld.com. All your duty stuff. we got uh, some great tees. It's duty time. There's a little duty in all of us. And the iconic there's only my t-shirt. Um, and don't forget tomorrow, the morning brew with the crazy crew. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. George and I will be on. And... Join us tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be on with um, 
Michael San Martino talking about Tech the Gods and so much more. So we'll be live tonight at 8 p.m. and we'll be live tomorrow at 9 a.m. So um, and let's get some music going before we start. The, you see, there's what I did yesterday. Uh, that was duty. Uh, I had fun doing this. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to end up with, um, but I really, really, really enjoyed doing this one. Um, I like the emotion, the drama, the lighting uh, really came out really cool. And um, but so today what I'm doing is let me get this in there. What I'm doing today is I'm joining duty fueling his ship and why. So yesterday we launched the landing page for Desolating on My Toilet on Kickstarter. And um, 11 people signed up. So we're 11 percent to 100. So thank you so much for all 11 people who signed up yesterday. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. I know, right? Duty, duty's, duty's just chilling. He is, uh, he's the great pretender. And uh, so we got to 11%. Um, I want to break 100 for the launch of the campaign. Um, and so today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw duty fueling his ship. Why? Because his fuel, his ship is going to be at 11% right now to be fueled in order to launch the campaign he has to be at 100 percent. so 100 percent, which means 100 so we can do it if everybody signs up now mind you you're not obligated to back it but if you sign up it helps the algorithms on kickstarter it helps move Disneyland in my toilet to the top of the food chain where it gets more visibility on kickstarter so that's why the signups are so critical but just for signing up you'll get a digital print so um, it's my way of just saying thank you for even taking the time by doing so. You know, you'll get this print, this digital print for signing up. Uh, but you have to send me an email. You got to let me know that you signed up. Again, if you back it as well, physically, you'll get that as a hard copy. Um, so so now today we're going to go and we're going to draw. Do the gas station. Don't know how it's going to end. I know what I want to start with. So uh, I'm moving over to the table. Enough of all of that housekeeping stuff now let's go and draw and have some fun okay so what i want is i have to incorporate a ufo a pump and duty at the pump on a rock <laughs> a bit of more than i could chew this is gonna be a little more complicated than i anticipated but we'll see we'll start with duty first all right let's get duty here first and you know we're gonna have duty in his school uniform um you know, Studi goes to Studi. <laughs> Studi, uh, Duty goes to um, an elite school, right? For the brightest, the best of Uranus has to offer, right? And the reason why he's able to go to that school is because he's the son of um, the emperor. And so, you know, and everybody in that school has to have the same uniform. And you're good to see this uniform. And it's simple; it's nothing major. Um, but he's using that uniform to travel with anyway, so. Um, so what I want is duty at the pump. So I'm going to, let's see, I don't know. I'm going to have hit that this. I want this curved here, right? Right. Get the foot there. Right now it's just about shapes for me. You know how I do. It's always about shapes, about placement. Where is it going to be placed? I think this got to be, I'm going to put. Right. So this got to go this way. All right. Boom. Okay. So he's like, oh, my aching back. I've been sitting all day traveling through space. Oh, my back, the cramps. I know the feeling when I drove for 32 hours from New Jersey to Texas um, without stopping at a hotel. Um, the only time we stopped is to walk the dogs, feed the dogs, give them food. Um, we didn't, I didn't sleep. And uh, man, I, I, you know, I was looking forward to walking the dogs because I needed to stretch my legs and the creak on my back. I was like, oh, good Lord, good golly, Miss Molly. Right, so let's see. All right, so if you're gonna have, I gotta figure out what the yeah they look like this, right? I 
on this ding thing. This is a, a fuel thing. So this goes like this. I'm gonna have to look up what uh, the handles for the dang gas station pumps. All right, he's got this. All right. Uh, so how am I gonna do it? Maybe should I have it here? Maybe here. Let's see. I'm gonna uh, again. I'm just playing with placement. I don't know where I'm gonna end up. This might be. Yeah, this like that, like this. Right there. That'll be it, right? Because it's gonna have to. I gotta figure out. <laughs> this is what happens. I talk to myself a lot. I gotta figure out. Right, and I put this right here. This is where the fuel's gonna go. Boom. Right. But then I want to pump. Um, uh, if he's filling that sucker up there. All right, let's scale this. Control T. Put this for a second. Okay. Let's move him up a bit. All right. Control T. I'm gonna scale that. Maybe move that up higher. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Erase this. Move it a little higher because um, it's gotta be like on. Uh, this is the dome. Boom. Here is the dome. That with the base. The jam's live in effect that I don't waste time on the mic with a dope rod. Jump to the rhythm. All right, put some stilts here. All right, cool. All right. All right, get this. There's this little two-seater UFO. And then here, I gotta have the pump. So I wanna have the pump station here, uh, the where he's pulling, pumping the gas from. And I wanna have a symbol on it. I wanna have like, um, uh, like a, I wanted to a meter, well, you know, like a it tells you how much fuel. So this I'm going to use to update my Kickstarter as we get closer and closer to 100%. Um, gotta shade that there. There you go. All right, and then all right, this would be where the fuel's coming from. Get the nozzle because I want the uh, let's do this right here so this way you can see where the hose is connected to all right so this is where the hose is connected to um, uh, so this is gonna go this way instead boom that's where the hose is connected to all right this will probably give prices all right All right, some sort of emblem and maybe some sort of reader here. All right, but here is where I want it to say percentage. So I'm gonna have like something here that's gonna have the percentage. And every day I'm gonna update this. So currently we're at 11%, right? I think so. Yes, we're at 11% um, reload, which is exciting. Um, so I just want to double check. So that's what that'll have on that Geiger. Um, all right, so let's go back. I got the hiccups. Okay. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Do -do 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 all right. Okay. So he has that. He has this patch here, right? So this is going here. He has this here. He also has um, his uh, ranking in class. Right. Okay, so this is there. Boom. That's there. And then he has these boots. Right. Here's this. So he's gonna have he's gonna have space boots on. He's not gonna have um, 
barefoot because now he's traveling all right They're gonna be on some sort of meteor rock. They're gonna be on a rock, right? So it's gonna, and I'll, I'll add all that stuff. It'll be, and it'll be space in the background. Um, so this is the fundamentals of where we're gonna end up with. It's a uh, duty on an asteroid or a space rock, which happens to have a fueling station, um, you know, and he's got to. Uh, get enough fuel to get to earth again um to launch that kickstarter and so far he's at 11 percent. so this will this will say 11 percent fueled um and then every every week i'll update it based on how many so every mondays i'll update this image the pump actual graphic so i'm going to use that just for the promotion so let's go to um ink it get some going in there what is this this is a uh, 15s yeah the 15 should be good So tonight, don't know how it's going to work out. I have a guest on the show. It's pre-recorded from uh, Nicaragua. It's uh, an entrepreneur. It's not comic book related at all. He reached out and wanted to be interviewed about his business and relocating and how he relocated and started his own business. So I'm pre-recording that tonight. I'm interviewing him tonight. We'll see how that goes. Um, you know, it's unique that they reached out to Cast the Craze. Um, so I'm looking forward to that conversation. I'm doing it alone. Um, George won't be uh, on the interview because he's working. Uh, so, and I'll uh, post when it airs. Uh, so... That's going to be an interesting conversation. So we'll see. It's about, I guess the whole thing is about starting a new business overseas, you know, relocating, becoming an expat, that kind of stuff. Let me lighten this up a little bit so I can see more of what I'm doing. All right, cool. There it is. See? When you do that, you see. Okay, so this goes here. He has this here. And he also has this. Actually, he's got this, this, this. Some patches. And he has a patch here. Okay. We got duty for the most part.
Beautiful. I don't know about any of you. I remember the first time I had to pump my own gas. I was nervous as heck. I was like, I hope I'm doing it right. Hello? Is there anybody here that can give me instructions? Um, and the first time I did it, I spilled, I spilled fuel. Yes, I know. It was horrible. I was like, I'm leaking fuel everywhere. What the hell? Um, it was not, it was no bueno. dog is snoring. Alright, there he goes. He's fueling up. Alright, let's uh let's get this vintage. Because I want to, I want a smooth circle. I'm going to. Uh... No. Right here. No. Want it here. Oh no, I'm just, oh, no, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move you. There you go, move. When I move, you move just like that. There you go. That's what I want. Right there. Okie dokie, smokey. That's what I'm talking about. And if I can. Let's see. Let's try something here. Maybe move it a little further up. Yeah, let's do it again. Control Z. A little further. There you go. That's good. All right, yeah. The tricks of the trade. That's too much. All right, we'll just leave that there for now. And don't have to be perfect, Sam. Don't have to be perfect. All right, cool. All right, we got that. We got that. What else am I looking for? All right, so this is going to be like inside some here. All right. All right, let's get this over there. All right, cool. So that's done. And then 
I'm going to use uh, a thicker line for the UFO, right? Boom. All right. Try to be fast with that bad boy. Bad boy, what you want? What you want to do? Zoom up. Let's. Uh, Try to be fast. Get this. Go boom, boom. So he's, he's standing. You know, it's uh, balancing on something. Boom. All right. Let's zoom out. All right. Cool. So basically, <laughs> I zoomed up too far. You probably I can't see it, Samuel. Um, this is the 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 basic fundamental of what I'm trying to get at. And so let's uh, add some colors. Get rid of the pencils. Um, first, let me clean this up here. Okay. Make sure all the lines are locked. I know I'll find out the hard way. When I drop the colors. All right, so let's create a folder there. Let's make this the resource. Let's drop some colors. Let's get through these colors first. You know what I did here? I realized I didn't do. I didn't connect this. I, I need that there. There, there you go. The little things. Mm -mm. Okay. Sit in yellow. Eyes. Dark green. And then his shit, his uh, outfit is this. Oh, here's a sneak preview of what are the pages. Spoiler! All right, so let's go. That's the gist of his um, gear and the UFO color. What color was the UFO? I, I know what the color is. There you go. No, I don't want it on the same layer. Create another layer for this. Just like a, um, and then the pump is gonna be like. yellow uh, go in there and 
then those would be like like a grayish. That'll be like a gold. Or reddish. Orangey. And this, I want the numbers in there, so I'm gonna make that uh, black. So I want a black? Nah. A different color, maybe blue. Um, a darker version of that blue. Yeah, darker. Because that's what I'm gonna have the numbers and the symbols in it. So the pump and the handle is gonna be a darker, the pump's gonna be gray. All right, then like a. This would be like. It would make me darker. Handle. Just determining the colors is the first part of it. Um, let's go with like. All right, I think I get everything dropped. All right, cool. Got everything dropped. Let's add some colors. Let's have some fun. Um, uh, let's do duty first. Multiply. Yeah, this. I'll do it this way.
you for now let's go to uh, multiply all right because you are I'm gonna do this is going to be actually I'm gonna start with you first There, same thing here.
Okay, let's um, let's get some. Actually, let's move this in here. Let's move this in here. Let's add a. Let's add a meteor on the bottom. Uh, let's get some. Meters are always gray anyway, so let's go with gray. All right, let's hide this for a second. Try to drop this in there. Let's see how it looks with this on it. Yep, that's good. Um, let's, let's do a multiply. So this is going to, oh, let's do the spray paint first. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this here first. Let's go to, uh, this let's do that and drop in a color darkness there you go let's do it here 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 right let's drop some colors in there boom boom Boom, boom, boom. All right. Then what we'll do is put some holes in here. My dog is snoring. Should I make that down there? No, we'll make it up. Okay, let's go put you back on so you can see what's going on here. All right, he's on some sort of space rock. We're going to add some... Um, shadow underneath. Right? And because the light's coming from over there, maybe I'll do another layer here. And I'm going to take this. Three hundred. Ooh, that's no bueno. Want it darker? Right, and same thing with this thing here. Right, and then we'll just. There you go. Something like that. Uh, just some quick stuff. Nothing crazy. Okay, so he's on that space rock. Now let's give them some out of space stuff. Um, uh, put a space background and maybe make me a little colorful. Should I do like a well? I'm doing this thing. It's more like purplish. So I'm gonna give like a purple space background. Boom. Uh, in fact, let me hide him. Hide because now it's not letting me. And let me put this in a folder. Hide. Let's just drop that paint again. There you go. Boom. All right. So now he's there. Uh, he's got nice purple background. All right. So let's go up. Let's get some. Let's have some fun.
Alright, so I'm going to make it darker on one side and later on the other. Right, so there's some light coming from one side. And then maybe some. There. You know, there you go. So, play with some of the lighting. Get some of these bad boys in there. We'll do this as another layer. Another layer. Some darker ones because it's a distance. You're not going to see it there, but maybe a bigger one. And then a yellow one. Now maybe we'll add another layer. Get, get a planet or two in the background. This is a good sized planet here. I'll do like a, this color. I don't want that. I want the planet. Oh, where's my brush? There it is. 300. All right. And uh, let's get the spray paint. Smaller. some light coming from this source right nothing crazy take that layer and lighten it up a bit so it's in the distance um, maybe another planet somewhere like a maybe an orangey planet in the background a little bigger Oh, I'm doing spray paint. My, my bad. Okay. And we'll do spray paint again. Alright. Get some light coming from this side. Alright. This is in the background. And then get some space clouds. You know, gotta add some different elements in there. in the background. Now, what I'll do is, I'm gonna take overlay and get like a pink spray thousand, let's see. And then what I'll do is again, overlay just for this, let's go a little lower, maybe 300, that's too much, don't like that, let's go here,
Hmm. Maybe no like. Let's see if I move it down here. Better. And then if I do the same thing here. Oh, that's why. You son of a biscuit eater, Samuel Vera. It was normal. It was supposed to be overlay. There it is. Okay, so if I do this here. Right, and get some of that going. All right, so um, this is where we're going to be. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, it's nothing crazy, but I want to use this as, oh wait, you know what? I didn't do, and I should have done, um, the multiply here. Let's see if I can get this. Oh no, I'm gonna do another. Let's go here. Let's get this to uh, that. Let's go here. I just realized I didn't do something. I might want to do something here so let's figure this out here let's see what I got here I got where's my brush there's my brush blurry let's go with um Why are you so... Hmm. I'm gonna go on a different layer. And let's layer color. I want it to be like a rust and sub color. There you go. What are they? Like a rusty color. But not so much. this at that all right enough so this is duty at a gas station in the middle of nowhere pumping gas trying getting ready for oh that's what i want um where's my things i want uh I 
Ya es la noche. Ah, that's why. This is the one I'm looking for. machinery All right, no more fun. Stop playing around. All right, cool. So this is it. I'm just going to use this as my fun piece to um, promote duty on the Kickstarter. Um, we're currently 11%. So thank you for the uh, 11 people who signed up so far for the launch of There's an Alien in My Toilet on Kickstarter. I truly appreciate you. Um, this campaign, I've worked really, really hard. Oh, we're at 12%. All right. Thank you. We're at 12%. So um, this campaign... Is probably so near and dear to me because issue three, um, I illustrated and colored issue three, the monster series. I did everything. So the only thing I didn't do in issue three was letter it. George is doing that one. But the monster series from start to finish, I did everything. And I'm excited about this campaign. And I'm hoping that you come along for the ride. This is going to be so much fun. There's so much um, in it for you. Um, if you have uh, kids, this is a great, great opportunity to introduce them to a fun character that they'll love and enjoy. I hope you come along for the ride. And remember, if you sign up today and every day leading up to the launch of the campaign, um, you will get this digital copy of uh, Duty's Monsters on Planet Cthulhu for free. Uh, Joe, you have to do is send me an email saying, hey, Sam, I signed up uh, and I'll send you the digital PDF that you can print out. And if you back it when we launch as well, physically, and you get a physical reward, you will get that physical print, a seven by 10 and a quarter um, of Duty's Monsters on Planet um, Cthulhu. It's going to be so much fun. It's based on this story right here. I'm working on page 16 today. Uh, I just finished 15 yesterday. Um, it's going to be so much fun. So uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Drawing Duty with me. Uh, if you did, please consider subscribing. Please consider liking. Stick around for the long haul. Uh, recommend this channel to your friends. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys have a great day. This was Drawing Duty. See me tonight on Cast of Craze at uh, 8 p.m. live with uh, Michael San Martino. And tech the gods. Talk to you soon. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that like button. Share it with a friend. And pick up a copy of this nail in my toilet on dutiesworld.com. See you next time. Have a great day. <laughs>